It is finally time, Deadman Mode Reborn is back after being gone for over one year. However, this time around, there have been a few game-changing updates to Deadman. I wanna focus on two of the updates, the first one being sigils. These sigils will boost your gameplay in different ways, kind of how relics worked in leaks last year. And the second update, which is very interesting, is the combat level worlds. Worlds will be limited between four different combat brackets, and the first one being level 3 to level 35. The higher the combat level worlds, the better XP rates and better drops. So the smartest players are going to rush the highest combat level worlds as soon as possible to profit on all the boosts, but not me. I will be working the day of the release of Deadman Mode. Yep, I know. I'm still a normie, still not a full-time YouTuber. Yet. And yeah, there is one more update. If you die three times, your account is reset. You're gone. Restart. And with that being said, let this journey begin. The lag is crazy, so many people are here right now. Everyone's playing Deadman mode. Here we go, grabbing the 10k. Well, we got ourselves our 10k. We got ourselves a Rootless Ranger Sigil. We haven't attuned it yet, sadly. But yeah, we need our Chronicle as well. All right, just grabbing myself 30 agility so I can start the Varrock agility course. Yeah, we got the Dorg's Bow, we got the Bone Bolt. The Dorg Bow will be my main anti-peaking and peaking weapon until we get that Magic Short Bow. Uh, so this is where you'll find my main account. I'm just gonna be shopping, try to get a Magic Short Bow very, very quickly on this account. There we go, 40 agility, let's go. A tiny upgrade to the gear, studded chaps and an iron plate body. There we go, dig site completed. 54 mining. That's a lot of herbal levels as well. Beautiful. So the reason why I got so much XP is because the quest rewards is also boosted. <laughs> I decided to complete Varok Museum quest for uh, some uh, XP here as well, Slayer and Hunter. The good thing about skilling early on is that whenever you die you keep all your stats. Uh, so skilling in the 35 combat bracket is very good because then you don't have to do it on the high combat brackets where you can get reset very very quickly. So unlocking these areas is very good for escapes in the future so for that reason I'm completing like almost all of these quests here. Alright look at this, one smithing turns into 52 smithing. Alright we're getting some upgrades here, blue dehyde. Yo we got two great sigils as well, look at that. Every attack does plus one damage to the target and we have the range thing. So I'm gonna do a lot of peeking at the agility pyramid, people are getting a lot of money here on low combat brackets, uh, so I'm gonna take all their money. He's dead. Yep. Why? He's dead. Look at that beautiful kill. Coins. <gasps> oh my god, we made so much money. And he asks why. That is why. But look at that fifth agility. Let's just finish off this pyramid. So for the final day of the Denma mode, it is the total level that decides who can participate in the one versus ones. So I might as well get all the total levels now when I have the money. And then when I eventually get the combat level, I'm gonna be instantly qualified. Alright, I got 52 Herblor for the quest. Grim Tales. I'm gonna shuck up my dream build on this bracket. You can actually get 78 strength and still be combat 35. Which means you can wear a Stadius Warhammer hitting 50s. And if that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments. There we go. 50 fire making. We can enter Winter Todd. Magic shortbow scroll. This is a great upgrade. Look at that. We can double spec now. My first five key chest. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh, supplies. Herblore supplies. Thank you. Yeah, he's dead here. There we go. Beautiful. He's dead. 40k cash. Beautiful. PKing on this combat bracket is actually so fun and so easy. Uh, I, I kind of want to make the best build for every single combat bracket until we reach the final stage of the 1 vs 1s. So I'm going to take it very very slowly as I progress this account. There we go, Prison Peril completed. We did disable the quest reward so we still are one prayer. And that's Merlin's Crystal completed. I think this is a quest we need for King's Ransom in the future, yep, uh, for Piety. And that's making history completed. X marks the spot, completed. Client of Corrin completed. We're gonna put the XP on strength. Imagine if we get that 78 strength on this account built, which we can. We can collect two more lamps here from, uh, from the Varric Museum on strength. 
35 strength. 38 strength. Oh my god, it's so quick. There we go. Bone voyage completed. We can access Fossil Island now. And I don't think anyone got this unlocked, so I can just do bird howls runs and everything. This guy should die here. Triple hit. There we go. We got a kill. Nerd. He calls me a nerd as I get coins. Was that 40k? So the, these small amounts of PK, they might not sound so much, but at the time swapping this GP over would be worth 50 times the rate if I were to swap it to 07 GP. Uh, this is why I get so happy even if it's just a 10k PK. He got water skins here. <gasps> 100k, beautiful. <gasps> Someone here, 401. I think I got him on the stairs. Yeah, I got him. 400 chaos runes. The bankies are normally not that good, but we got some logs here. Great for experience and skilling. Oh my god. I didn't think it would buy. I got an obsidian cape. <laughs> Look at this fashion cape. Plenty of defense as well. Goggles on, cape on, we're booming. I haven't seen a single person at Fossil Island at the 35 combat bracket, so I think I'll be running here freely for my entire stay. All right, let's just get some a free key here. Frog owns. Free key, could be food. Oh yeah, that's jungle potion completed. It didn't get a sign. Oh, look at that, 71k fishing experience, putting us at 4 physics fishing. All right, to get some quick uh, strength levels, we're gonna do a diary or multiple diaries, I don't know. Uh, we start with Vera. And there we go, all Vera tasks completed. Look, strength, Tw oh, 25k, 44 strength. We got an upgrade in the bank. Wait, oh my, look at that, look at the defense on this. Another diary completed, the Lumbridge one. Oh, another 25k strength experience, 48 strength. All right, this will be very, very interesting. A boss, I almost died on my hardcore I man with overheads. Now we're gonna do this boss without overheads. There we go, beautiful, dead. No problem. What? Are you kidding me? I can't finish the quest. Okay, I want everyone to pay attention here. The biggest XP drop of all time, 220k, 61 strength. Oh my, I can use a Dragon Warhammer right now. Oh my god, still 34 combat. What, what is the chances that this is gonna buy for 128k? What's the chances? Yes, zero. Until we can get the Dragon Warhammer, we're gonna be happy with the Rune Warhammer. Is this, yeah, Shallow Village completed. 4 to 5 crafting, thank you. Birdhouse run, how much XP? 5.6k. It's gonna be 800 total, look at that, beautiful. I'm the only one on this island, I don't have to worry about anyone coming here. Oh yeah, fun fact, you can change your respawn point by talking to Burgess and Burson and then buy yourself a ring of returning. This will give you unlimited teleports to the Grand Exchange. Well, not unlimited, but 5 of those. No, it's, it's west! West, west, west. I got it. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, Elder Chaos Rope Top. I killed him. Tom. He says Tom. He said Tom and he died. So this second guy I just killed, he's apparently in my clan. He wasn't in my CC, so it wasn't my fault, but I had to refund him. First I'm getting two good keys. 177k and 214k. So this might just be where I'm gonna be for the 78 strength here. We are pumping at Blast Furnace. Exp rates, 120k experience per hour. Pretty solid. We need 1.7 mil XP in total, so it's a while. It's gonna take a while. And yep, that's where we're gonna wrap up. We got three levels as I was doing this outro. So it's going pretty quickly. In the next episode, if I haven't died, I promise you I will be holding a status Warhammer. And we're gonna test it out. Goodbye. And like like this video, please. Like, uh, for real. A like. I, I appreciate that.